got a family photo shoot coming up or just looking for some tips on how to shoot families. I got five twi twips. <laughs> got a family photo shoot coming up or just looking for some tips to better your family photography. I got five tips in this video that'll help you get to the next level in shooting families. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? My name is Omar Altakori. I'm a freelance photographer in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this channel is all about helping you take better photos. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. I try to drop videos on a consistent basis. No, I don't. I'm trying to get better though. Uh, 2019, let's get it. Any and all info on my equipment, the presets I use, um, any other things I forget in this video, make sure to hit that description box and uh, you'll find some links and some extra information. Let's go into the tips. Yo, so tip number one is before the shoot even takes place, you wanna make sure you put your camera on high continuous or burst mode. So, uh, you know, this is single shooting, it's one at a time, but when you put it on uh, continuous or burst mode, your camera should sound like a little bit like this. So the reason why you wanna do that is because you're shooting so much people, uh, so much as in maybe three plus, you wanna make sure you're capturing you know, the the moments before and after blinks. You know, you don't wanna capture one Im image and it's awesome, but someone's eyes are closed. And then also just like, for my style, I'm just, I'm just capturing moments. I'm not really, you know, these one and done shots. I'm like, hey, you guys interact with each other. So, you know, putting it on burst allows you to capture a ton of photos in a short amount of time, which then allows you to eliminate any and all um, kind of, you know, awkward photos that can come out. So tip number two is kinda like a piggyback on that last tip. Um, interaction, you know, have the parents interact while the kids look at the camera, then have the kids interact while the parents look at the camera. Obviously that's kind of like dependent on the age of the kids, if they're cooperative. I always think like if they're not cooperative, it's not a terrible thing. It kind of actually, I find it like kind of charming and cute when, you know, a kid's kind of crying. Like I was doing a, I took a Thanksgiving photo with my fam and little Ruby girl is just crying her eyes out, but it's all good. You know, she's a little girl, she's crying. You know, I don't, you don't want to spend so much time waiting for a, a kid to smile uh, when, you know, essentially it kind of just tells a fun story if they're not all that happy. Tip number three, I would say totally is uh, combinations. Don't forget the combinations you can get within, whether you're doing 30 minute, hour, two hour sessions, that you're getting photos of just the parents. Uh, I don't know, I'm out of breath, frick, I'm out of shape. But you're getting photos of just the parents, you're getting photos of just the kids, the mom with the kids, the mom with one of the kids, or, you know, the dad with the kids, and just make sure you're giving them a variety of those things, and that even adds to the deliverables, so now you're gonna even add, give, you're gonna give back even more, and I always think about social media and why people even use photos to, you know, post digitally and stuff, and I, a lot of the times I find that it's, uh, it's, it's occasion, so like if it's Father's Day, you know, they have a photo to the post. If it's one of the kids' birthday, you have a portrait of them because you shot it even during the Christmas shoot. Um, so little things like that, just always taking in mind, portraits of people, you know, one, uh, headshots is a good, you know, they're paying for photos, might as well get them uh, some awesome headshots. So if you can squeeze that in, but always think combinations, it's a huge, huge thing. And then tip number four is uh, my lens selection. You know, I get a lot of questions all the time on like what lenses do you use? What's the best lens lens for like shooting family photos? And I really just like gravitate toward prime lenses and more specifically like a uh, 35 or 50. Uh, Sony has a Zeiss 55 1.8, which is really like my go-to lens. And uh, I really don't switch it out, but um, I wouldn't go higher than 50 or 55 because you know 85 it's a little tight and you know you're gonna find yourself having to really back up to get groups of people 85s are great for like portraits if you have it you know keep that in your kit I definitely think 85 is like one to keep in your kit but if you do have a zoom lens I love like medium range zoom lenses like like a 24 to 70 is awesome uh, I actually have both so I have my uh, G Master 24 to 70 2.8, and then I have that 55 on this camera, and I'm shooting with an A7 III, by the way. Um, and I probably won't use the 24 to 70. What I will do, though, is have it just in case. Reason why I like shooting primes is because it forces you to move around. You know, like the the image isn't going to change unless I move, and so you know, forcing me to move around, get different angles, go up close, back up, get far, um, is super helpful. So I'd really look into like a 35 or 50 prime lens, you can get inexpensive ones or you can like super invest because you know those lenses are gonna get you money for your photos. And a last, or quick bonus tip, you know, you know, the family's actually on their way to this shoot and I actually called this shoot 
at least 45 minutes early. I would have been okay shooting at 3.30. I called it a 3.30 shoot, meet me here. Uh, but that was with the understanding that something might happen. Legit, every family I've ever shoot, and it's okay. Now I have a family, I have a little baby girl. It's gonna take a little bit for us to get out the house. But you can intentionally, whether somebody's good on schedule or not, just plan early, especially when it gets colder and the winter comes and days are shorter. You don't wanna call that, like, just that golden hour we're gonna shoot back it up 30 like 45 minutes and give some time for something to happen traffic babies throwing up like got lost can't find parking so that's just a bonus tip tip number five here we go and then last tip tip number five is aperture you know you're shooting more groups of people and i and i know i plugged that uh prime lens tip which is awesome you have 1.8 you might have 1.4 you might have 1.2 but i wouldn't suggest shooting at those uh apertures and so just make sure that when you're shooting like minimum 2.8 to 4.0 and that's going to get a little bit more of the group in focus and uh you know make sure that like nobody's blurry when you're shooting and you know you want everybody in focus so because you're shooting a group crank up that aperture a little bit you can even go to 4.5 or so make that discretion and uh and shoot flat don't you know if you shoot at an angle you're gonna want to crank that up even more because of the line of focus but if you're shooting straight on and everybody's kind of like in the same line you're gonna get that crispy focus if you're focusing on the face and it's gonna be an awesome shoot and you're gonna crush it let's go hey in addition to apertures being at 2.8 plus uh you know 4.5 your shutter speed, you really want to crank that up as well. Not too much, but like 250, 320ths of a second because you got kids and there's so much movement going around. You don't want that motion blur. And also if you have the family walking towards you or you want them to, the kids to run, you don't want them to be any you know, blurry and all. So just make sure you crank that shutter as well. I know it's a little technical, but I, these, uh, these tips can go a long way when shooting families. But I got a question for you. What are some of your easy family photo tips? Put them in the comments below. I want to see or even maybe get some tips from you guys. Uh, and, you know, I usually get most video ideas and video tips from you guys, actually. But, you know, if you can put in the comments below, let's start a conversation. I'm usually really good at commenting back. And uh, reach out to me also. I'm on IG, at Omar Tsukori. And you can meet me there. Hit me through the DMs. Any questions you got, I try my best to answer uh, throughout the weeks. Uh, any questions that people have when they slide through the DM. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you'd like to. And also, if you want to check out another video on my channel, click or tap the screen right there. And uh, you're going to find some good tips. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.